So I am a molecular ecologist. I work on all kinds of symbioses between fungi and different animals. So fungi and bark and ambrosia beetles, fungi and birds, fungi and bats. This study of, of things that excavate holes into trees and, and transmit fungi into trees is kind of what drew me in to the, to the bark and ambrosia beetle symbiosis. So I'm an expert in um, bioinformatics and next generation sequencing controls. So that's kind of an important thing for anybody who wants to, to do that kind of community-based work. So especially for like the bark beetle mycobiome stuff, um, all of that is about all of the fungi on these, on these beetles. And some of the only ways that we can find that out is to do that this DNA-based work. And to do that, you have to use um, often next-generation sequencing or high-throughput sequencing. And for those types of studies, you're basically identifying every single fungus that's associated with that DNA from that beetle. But you have to be able to trust um, what it is that you're finding. And I've designed a lot of controls to, to be able to to do that. So the idea is you get all of the fungi from the beetle and put it through the sequencer, but you don't know where your contaminants are coming from or, or stuff like this. So that's something that I have spent a lot of time on and also designing the downstream pipelines for how to process these types of data as well.